my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to one of my most popular videos and honestly one of my favorite videos to make. They are a lot of work, but I love making these and giving you guys five fantastic dinner recipes in one video. So tonight you are going to see from start to finish five fabulous, delicious, I mean delicious dinner recipes for not only yourself, but your family, definitely sure to be a crowd pleaser. So if you wanna see the five recipes that I'm gonna share with you in this episode of Five Nights of Dinners, all you have to do is stay tuned. For tonight's 30 minute meal, we are going to be making Philly cheesesteak sandwiches and we're just gonna pair that with a side of vegetables. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So I picked up this beef shaved steak at Fred Meyer. This is going to make Philly cheesesteak so much easier. The meat is already shaved and sliced really thin. So this is a definite time saver. So if you have a Fred Meyer, or Kroger near you, I know that they carry it. You can also check your other local grocery stores as well, but this is already cut, ready to be tossed in the pan and cooked down. We're going to put our sandwiches on these hoagie rolls, and I'm gonna chop up an onion, a red pepper, and a green pepper, your traditional Philly cheesesteak veggies. We're gonna to top it with a slice of Jarlsberg Light reduced fat Swiss cheese. This cheese is only one smart point per piece. So definitely low points and it is so good. For seasoning, we're gonna be using garlic salt and we're also going to be using Dax Green Zest. I love Dax seasonings. They are all no salt added and they have so much flavor. Everything natural, no MSG. So in this particular seasoning, this one is really good for fajitas. And for this type of a dish, you've got some onion, some garlic, some sweet peppers. You also have a little bit of lime. It is absolutely delicious. Love this seasoning. You can pick up Dax for 10% off using my discount code here on the screen. They have a ton of flavorings and they are all delicious. You can see this one's almost gone. I love this one on pretty much everything. So highly recommend the green zest. And then I'm also going to have some black pepper and we're just gonna have some leftover mixed veggies on the side. So let's get started on our Philly cheesesteaks. So the first thing we're gonna get started is we're gonna chop our red and green pepper into strips. Same with our onion, and then we'll be ready to throw our meat and veggies on the stove. This is super quick. It'll be less than 30 minutes from start to finish. You're going to get started is go ahead and spray your pan with some non-stick cooking spray you do want a pretty good sized pan because we are going to pop all the vegetables in there let those cook down just a little bit and then we're also going to throw in our meat so here is my cut up onions and peppers and we're just going to let those cook down just a bit then we'll add in some seasoning once your veggies start to cook down just a little bit we're going to add some seasoning so we're going to start first with my very favorite Dax Green Zest. So we're gonna add some of that. And then we're also going to add just a little bit of garlic salt. And lastly, some black pepper. And then we'll give this a good stir and continue to let these cook down just about halfway. And then we'll add in our meat. Once your veggies get cooked about halfway, we're gonna go ahead and add in our shaved beef. I'm telling you, this is a huge lifesaver. Look at that. Perfectly cut for Philly cheese. So we're gonna let that cook down as well. Probably add a little bit more seasoning to the meat. Look at how delicious this looks. That meat is so perfect. It is the perfect shaved texture and size for Philly cheesesteaks. So I went ahead and pumped up my heat to high so I can get a little bit of crisp on the veggies and the meat. And then we're ready. It's only been 20 minutes. So not bad we should be done here in about five minutes plate it up and we are ready to eat so here is tonight's dinner 
on my plate in 25 minutes. So what I have here is some frozen mixed vegetables, which is a little bit of spray butter, salt, and pepper. And look at the star of the show, the Philly cheese. This thing looks so ooey, gooey, cheesy, and delicious. So it is five smart points for the hoagie roll, one for the cheese, and three for the shaved beef. So this is a total of nine smart points. You can have an entire Philly cheesesteak sandwich, and this thing is huge for only nine smart points. So this is my nine smart point dinner. For dinner tonight, I am making the Felicia Fitness Health Chicken Stroganoff. I have never tried this but people rave about it. She has fantastic recipes. So if you haven't checked her out on Instagram and YouTube, make sure you do. It is Felicia Fitness Health. So I modified mine a little bit. So the, re the points on mine are actually two points less than hers due to the pasta. So speaking of the pasta, the first thing you're going to need is some pasta. So I'm gonna be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. I'm obsessed with this pasta. Two ounces is only three smart points so it is half the smart points of regular pasta and it tastes even better my husband has asked that i only use this because he likes it better than regular pasta so you can't beat it when it's two ounces for three points versus two ounces for six points you can find this pasta on Nutrition. so if you go down to my description box you'll see a link click that link it'll take you right to the page and you can order the fiber gourmet pasta it is a game changer on ww I'm also going to be using some salt and pepper as well as some garlic powder. You're going to need some mushrooms, some chicken breast, some cottage cheese, some fresh spinach, and of course an onion. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing we need to do is get started sauteing our vegetables. So I have some nonstick cooking spray here that I'm going to add to my pan. And then we are going to add in our diced up onion. So I quadrupled the recipe, so I'm making four servings. So I used a whole onion, and I'm gonna use the entire container of these Baby Bella mushrooms. And you're gonna start sauteing these down. When these are cooked just about through, we'll add in our spinach, remove it, add in our chicken, and I'm gonna get my pasta boiling as well. I went ahead and added some garlic powder as well as some salt and pepper to my veggies just to flavor them just a little bit so they are almost all the way cooked down so this is when i'm going to be adding in quite a few large handfuls of spinach as you know spinach wilts down to virtually nothing and i'm going to let that get wilted down and then we'll remove our veggies from the heat Mushrooms, onions, and spinach are all done. I'm going to just put that into a separate bowl here and set it aside. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken to the same pan, get it starting to cook, and start our pasta. Chicken is cooking. I did go ahead and add some garlic powder, salt, and pepper to the chicken as well. So I'm gonna get this completely cooked down. We'll re-add our veggies, and let me get going on the pasta. Once your chicken is done and you have drained all of the liquid, go ahead and add back in your spinach, mushrooms, and onions. Yum. This is already looking absolutely delicious. To that, we are going to go ahead and add in one third cup cottage cheese per serving. So I measured out four servings of one third cup. We're going to give that a nice mix. And then we are also going to add in our pasta and I'm going to show you a surefire way to make sure that you're only eating one serving size so go ahead and get this all mixed together we'll get this into a bowl and onto the food scale look at how amazing this looks I am just keeping it on the stove just a little bit longer I want to get that cottage cheese nice and melted in with the pasta and then we'll get this into a bowl measured out and served up but you guys this looks delicious so to get the most accurate serving size Go ahead and set your scale to zero. Put whatever bowl on it that you wanna put your food into. Zero that out. Then you're gonna take whatever you're serving for dinner and you're gonna add it to your bowl. And then you're gonna look at the grams. So this is 1,510 grams. We're gonna divide that by four because this recipe only serves four, so that is a lot of food. So what you're going to do is remove that amount of food. So let me do the math and I'll show you exactly how to portion that out. 
So each serving of the pasta is 377 grams. So basically you're just gonna start scooping it in your bowl until your scale reads 377. And then you know that you have one fourth of the pasta in your serving. So it makes it really easy. I cannot believe how much food one serving is. That is crazy to me. Ooh, we're a little over. Alrighty. So there you go. There is one serving of the Felicia Fitness Health Chicken stro Stroganoff. Look at how amazing this looks, you guys. And my entire bowl is completely full. And guess what? With the Fiber Gourmet Pasta, this is a total of five smart points. That's it for this entire dinner. Five smart points. For tonight's dinner, I am making a ground beef lo mein. I am omitting a couple of ingredients because I don't have them and doing a couple of changes. So I'll walk you through those changes. So let me first show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're of course going to just need some salt, some olive oil, soy sauce. The recipe calls for both light and dark soy sauce. I'm just going to use this soy sauce for both of the soy sauce options. You'll also need some minced garlic, some sugar alternative of your choice. I'm gonna do Truvia, hamburger, so I'm gonna do the 96.4, shredded carrots, celery, pasta, whatever pasta you wanna use. I'm gonna do the fiber gourmet. You can have two ounces of this pasta for only three smart points. So it is half the smart points of any other type of pasta and it is delicious. So I'm going to substitute this. If you're interested, you can order this on Nutrition. There is a link down in the description box. It will take you directly to the website and you can search around and see all the amazing products, but I highly recommend this pasta. Save yourself at least three points per serving. I'm also going to be using some sesame oil and instead of fresh onion, I'm going to do minced onion. The recipe also calls for rice wine vinegar. Mine was expired, so I had to go ahead and throw it away, so I'm omitting that as well. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we need to do is get our ground beef cooked. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to my warmed up pan, and then to that, I'm going to be adding in my ground beef. So we wanna make sure our oil is nice and hot, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our one pound of 96.4 lean ground beef, and we're just gonna get that cooking down. Once it's almost browned, we'll go ahead and add in our garlic. Once your hamburger starts to brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. I typically don't measure my minced garlic. I love garlic, so I'm okay with just kind of winging it. We're also gonna go ahead and add in just a half a teaspoon of Truvia, so just a little splash of Truvia. And then we're also going to add in one tablespoon of light soy sauce. And then lastly, we're just gonna go ahead and add in some salt. And we're gonna give this a stir and let this meat continue to cook until fully cooked down. And we're gonna go ahead and get some water boiling for our pasta. Once your hamburger is almost all the way cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add in about a quarter cup of our julienned carrots. We're also going to add in, it says a quarter cup of fresh onion. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced onion. And we are also going to add in our sesame oil and we want one teaspoon of sesame oil. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in our finely chopped celery. You could also do bok choy, whatever your preference is. And we're just gonna let this cook down until our celery is bright green and our carrots have softened. Our meat looks delicious. It is just about finished cooking. So I dropped the heat to low to allow it just to simmer while we cook our pasta. And our pasta is boiling as well. You wanna go ahead and cook it al dente. So you want it to still be a little bit hard when you add it in with your meat mixture. It will continue to cook and you want that lo mein noodle texture which is a little bit on the al dente side. So let's let this finish cooking and we'll be ready to assemble it all together. So our meat mixture is done. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our al dente noodles. And then we're just going to give this a big stir, get everything nice and combined. We're gonna let those noodles cook down for just a couple minutes, just in that extra sauce, and make sure everything is combined all together. So the ground beef lo mein is done. Look at how amazing that looks. 
I tasted a little bit of it and it is so good. So this recipe only makes four servings. So that is a lot of food. So I'm gonna get this divided out into four servings. I'll plate it up, I'll show you what we're having for dinner and give you the smart points. Here's tonight's dinner. Look at this, this is a full size dinner plate and that is one fourth of the ground beef lo mein and it is only six smart points. So all of this food for only six smart points. Real ground beef, noodles, You've got some veggies in there. The flavor is delicious. Highly, highly recommend you make this for a whole whopping six smart points. For tonight's dinner, I am making pepperoni pizza casserole. I hear that this recipe is outstanding, so I cannot wait to make it and give it a try. So here's what you're going to need for tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need a jar of marinara. This is the Skinnyish Dish Zero Point Crock Pot Marinara. I will link the recipe down in the description box below. And of course, it is zero points. You're also going to need some pasta of your choice. So I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne Pasta. This pasta is great. It is half the smart points of regular pasta. So for two ounces, it is only three smart points versus five to six smart points. It's delicious. You can't tell the difference. It tastes absolutely amazing. You can buy this on Nutrition. Down in the description box is a direct link to their website and you can browse around, shop, and of course order the Fiber Gourmet Pasta, but they have so many other fantastic WW friendly products as well. So definitely check out their website. I'm gonna be using some Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, some turkey pepperoni, 96 for extra lean ground beef. I decided to get the sliced button mushrooms and then you're also going to need some sliced olives. And I decided to go ahead and add some seasoning. So I'm gonna be doing this Dax Italian Blast. If you have not tried Dax, they are a fantastic seasoning company. Zero salt, no MSG, 100% natural ingredients, but the flavor is on point. It is so good, it is flavorful. You won't even miss the salt. And let me tell you, before weigh-in day, this is the best seasoning to use so that you can avoid any type of water retention. So down in the description box is a link for Dax. It will give you 10% and free shipping off of your order. So check it out. They have about a dozen or so seasonings and they are all to die for. So tonight we're using Italian Blast. That should pair nicely with our pepperoni pizza casserole. So the first thing you're gonna get started is browning your ground beef. So I just went ahead and added it to a pan. When it's cooked most of the way through, I'll go ahead and add some of my Dax seasoning. Secondly, we're going to get a pot boiling so that we can cook our pasta. And you do wanna cook your pasta just al dente. So make sure that it's still a little bit tough when you pull it out of the pot. So moving on to the next step of our pizza casserole. Once your hamburger is cooked most of the way through, this is when you're gonna go ahead and add in your Dax seasoning. Now this Italian Blast does have a little bit of a kick, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on this seasoning, just a little bit in with the meat here, and then we're gonna allow it to absorb the flavor while it cooks down. It smells so good. Once your hamburger is cooked down, you're gonna go ahead and add it to a rather large bowl and to the bowl we're going to go ahead and add in our can of sliced olives and we're also going to add our drained of course olives and our drained mushrooms and then we are actually going to add the entire package of our turkey pepperoni the recipe actually calls for eight ounces and this is only a five ounce package so but i think five ounces is going to be just fine so we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then we are going to add half of our entire bag of mozzarella. We're gonna use 12 ounces total. So we wanna go ahead and add in about half of that. Save the other half so that you can add it to the top. And then we're gonna add our entire jar of marinara sauce. So the recipe calls for 32 ounces, which is a standard marinara size jar. So that's what I have here of the skinniest dish. So we're just gonna mix this up Kind of get this nice and combined and then we'll be ready to add in our noodles. Once your pasta is done, go ahead and mix it into the rest of your casserole ingredients. Look at how delicious this looks. I went ahead and greased a nine by 13 pan and we are going to put our casserole mix into our pan and then we are going to top it with the rest of our mozzarella cheese. Throw some foil on it, get it into the oven at 350 for 30 to 45 minutes. Look at how delicious this looks. So next we're going to take the remainder 
of the mozzarella cheese and we're just going to evenly spread it over the top of our pizza casserole and then we'll add some foil and it is ready to go into the oven this looks better than pizza how delicious does this look here's the completed casserole before it goes into the oven look at that cheese pepperoni ground beef i mean how delicious this is the supreme pizza with pasta so those two things paired together is awesome so i'm going to cover this with foil and i'll be back in a flash to show you the completed casserole look at this casserole you guys this is legit comfort food i cannot wait to dig in this is a 9 by 13 pan i'm cutting this into six servings so it is going to be quite a large serving i have a lot of points left for today so i'm going to share with you the smart points of six servings but i'll also give you some other options as well so let me get this cut plate it up get my veggies on my plate and i'll be back to show you the smart points so here is the plated up dinner. Look at all of that. This is a full size plate. So this is one sixth of the recipe. And what I have here is just some frozen veggies with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. So one sixth of this casserole is only eight smart points. So you can essentially have pizza and pasta for eight smart points. So that is what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. If you cut this into eight servings, it lowers the points to six. And if you decide to cut it into a lot smaller servings into 10, it lowers the points to five. So this is tonight's delicious dinner. For tonight's dinner, we are making ground beef enchiladas. Wait until you guys see how incredibly low the points are. And this dinner is so good. So let me show you what's in our enchiladas. So first you're going to need some light tortillas. Make sure in order to have the same points at the end as I do, that the tortillas that you're using are only one smart point. So I'm gonna be using the Olay Extreme Wellness. You'll also need some minced garlic, enchilada sauce, refried beans, extra lean ground beef. So I'm using 96.4 from Trader Joe's. And I am doing a mix of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella and fat free cheddar. And for spices, you'll need some garlic powder. You can either use a fresh onion or minced onion. I'm going with minced onion. You'll also need some oregano, cumin, and chili powder. So let's get started on tonight's ground beef enchiladas. So the first thing that we need to do is mix together our spices. So we want one teaspoon of each of the spices. So we're gonna go ahead and start first with garlic powder. And you know, I don't usually measure my spices. So I'm just going to wing about a teaspoon of each. We're also gonna want a teaspoon of our chili powder. And you guys are feel free to measure. I just kind of eyeball, I kind of know how much as I've been doing this long enough. And then we're also going to add in some cumin and some oregano. And I forgot to show you, but we also need some onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in one teaspoon of onion powder. So that is going to be our mix. I'm gonna give it a quick stir and we're just going to set it aside. Next, you're going to get your ground beef cooking. So I went ahead and added my pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef to my pan. I'm also going to be adding in my minced onion. Now, if you use fresh onion, you're gonna wanna cook it down prior to adding in your ground beef. So if you end up using fresh onion, cook it down in your garlic first, then add in your ground beef. So I'm gonna be adding my garlic as well, and I'm just gonna get a nice, big spoonful and then lastly i'm going to be adding in my spices that i mixed together and we're going to let this hamburger brown really absorb all the flavors of the spices and the garlic and then i'll be back to add in the refried beans once your hamburger is browned you're going to go ahead and add in two cups or one can which is 16 ounces of fat-free refried beans oh that's hilarious and you're just going to go ahead and mix that in let that kind of cook down for just a few minutes until it gets nice and incorporated in with your hamburger. Once your hamburger bean mixture is complete, look at how good that looks. Go ahead and remove it from the stove. Grab out a 9 by 13 baking dish. And the first thing you're going to do is just put a little bit of enchilada sauce into the bottom of your dish. You just want to coat 
the bottom. And then to that, we are going to add just a little bit of our ground beef mixture. We just wanna add just a little bit of that to the bottom of our nine by 13 pan as well. And just kind of spread that out over the bottom. You want your enchiladas to be really flavorful and moist, and that will help with this meat mixture and the enchilada sauce kind of on the bottom of the nine by 13. It really just kind of helps your enchiladas get a little more flavor and really get that ooey gooey, delicious enchilada vibe to them. So go ahead and spread your meat and bean mixture just kind of out evenly into the bottom of your nine by 13 pan. And then we are ready to assemble our enchiladas. So to assemble our enchiladas, I have a mixture here of four ounces of fat free cheese and four ounces of Trader Joe's light mozzarella. I am going to be using some of that. And then of course, I'm going to be using my meat mixture here. So we wanna make sure that we're spreading our meat mixture into the middle of our enchilada. You don't wanna to go too close to the edge, but you do wanna kind of spread it around the entire sh tortilla shell. And then we're just going to add a little bit of cheese as well. So I'm just gonna do a mix of both of the cheeses into the middle. And then you're gonna fold this up into an enchilada shape, just kind of roll it. Mmm, yum, look at that. So you've got a nice enchilada, and then that's just going to be laid here in your pan. And you're going to repeat that for all eight of your enchiladas. Once you've wrapped all four enchiladas, you can see my four in the Olay wrap and my hubbies and just regular flour tortillas. The next step is you are going to be using the rest of your large can of enchilada sauce and you wanna make sure that you coat your enchiladas. That's the best part about enchiladas is they say nice and moist. All of the shells get that really good enchilada sauce flavor. So you just wanna make sure that you're coating everything really good with your sauce so that your enchiladas are fully covered. And then you're gonna take whatever cheese you have left over and you're just going to kind of sprinkle that over the top of your enchiladas. And you want to go ahead and cover it with foil so that your cheese doesn't brown, that it just kind of instead melts. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with foil. Get this into the oven at 350 and I'll be back to show you our enchiladas. I cannot wait. So I just pulled the enchiladas out of the oven. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and plate up my dinner. I steamed some veggies in the microwave and then I'll show you our completed dinner for tonight and give you the smart points. So here is tonight's completed dinner. I am super excited. So I have some mixed veggies with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. I have two of my Olay Wellness Wrap enchiladas. They are three smart points per enchilada. That's it. So this is two for a total of six. One smart point for fat-free sour cream makes seven. So this delicious Mexican dinner is only seven smart points. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Five Nights of Dinners. I hope you enjoyed seeing all five recipes. Every single solitary one was absolutely delicious. All of the recipes with any modifications that I made and points values are linked down in the description box below. So if you came over new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload. You don't wanna miss a single video. And I do put out these five nights of dinners quite regular. Also, I always am putting out recipe videos on my channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and that bell is hit. Give this video a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know which one of these five was your favorite and if you're going to give these recipes a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.